Hello friends, in this video we shall discuss with respect to the problems based on operational amplifier. In the previous video we have discussed the theory part behind the operational amplifier that is mu a 741. So in this video I have taken 6 problems, I am going to solve 6 problems. Before do that I am going to display all the 6 problems, you can go through it and if you can able to solve before I am solved then it is well and good. So this is the third question then fourth question then fifth question and sixth question so in all this uh, sixth six questions what i have done is i have made two assumptions that is vcc value equals to 15 volts i have taken and minus ve value which is equals to minus 15 volts this is the assumption what i have made and we also know that when virtual short is valid means first case op amp should not be in a saturated state and the second one is what op amp should not be in a saturated state and the second one is op amp should be in a negative feedback mode or the dominant feedback should be a negative feedback then only we say virtual short is valid so these two conditions i have uh, maintained throughout solving all the six questions Hello friends, this is Arun Kumar here. I welcome you to my channel Craving Gyan. If you are visiting first time to my channel, make sure you are going to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get instant notification whenever I upload a new video. So in the first question what they are given is, they are asking us to find the gain of the operational amplifier. And the second thing what they are asking is, what is the significance of this resistor R1? So this resistor R1, what is the significance they are asking? Now, look at the things. We are telling the op amp is not in a saturated mode. I mean, what do you mean by saturated mode means? See, the output will be fluctuating between a minus 14 volts to plus 14 volts. One volt less when compared to the power supply, that will be your saturated voltage. Now, so, v plus this potential is at 0 volts then what is the potential at v minus this potential is also at 0 volts so r1 is the resistor that is connected between two equal potential or zero potential you can consider so no any current that will be flowing through this resistor r1 so I can eliminate it or simply I can call it as a redundant element. So without this R1, looking at the circuit, the circuit will be something like an inverting based op amp. So in the case of inverting amplifier, what is the gain? So the gain will be equals to the feedback resistor that is RF divided by the input resistor that is R1, sorry R in. So this is also called as what V out divided by V in. V out divided by V in. Now what is the value of RF they have given? The value of RF they have given it as 100. No need to write kilo. Why? In the case of R in and RF, you are having the kilo terms. That kilo and kilo is going to get cancelled. Right? So what is the value of gain you are going to get? what is the value of gain you are going to get minus 20 is the gain of the operational amplifier this is in the inverting mode now look at the things carefully look at the things carefully in this case r1 is a 5 kilo ohm if i am changing the r1 value to 10 kilo ohms or if i am changing to 100 kilo ohm its a role is not going to affect so that means what the R1 is not having any of the significance in the circuit. So R1 is treated as a redundant element. So for the first question, the gain of the operational amplifier is a 20. That negative sign indicates the output is having 180 degree phase variation with respect to input. Moving on to the second question, what they have given is we have to determine the output of the operational amplifier. Again, the same scenario we are going to consider. The op amp is in a negative feedback and the op amp is not in a saturated mode. 
that means virtual short is valid and the current that is getting into operational amplifier is roughly 0 ampere but practically if I am speaking it is in the order of micro amperes it is in the order of micro amperes in this case you consider to be 0 amperes so the current over here will be 0 the current over here will be 0 so when there is no any current that is flowing through this 2 kilo ohm resistor will be treated as a redundant element or the voltage drop across the 2 kilo ohm is 0. So this value or this potential will be at 4 volts. This potential will be at 4 volts. Similarly, this potential will be at 4 volts. What is the current that is flowing through this 5 kilo ohm is again 0. So what is the potential over here? Again, it is 4 volts. Now, this voltage is 4 volts with respect to ground or with respect to this 5 kilo ohm. Now, based on voltage divider rule, with respect to voltage divider rule, the voltage across 5 kilo ohm, the voltage across 5 kilo ohm is given as the total voltage that is V out into corresponding resistance value that is 5 kilo divided by 5 plus 10 which will be 15 okay no need to write kilo and kilo because in the numerator kilo denominator kilo is going to get cancelled what is the voltage across 5 kilo ohm the voltage across 5 kilo ohm is 4 volts 4 into what is the 10 plus 5 is 15 divided by this phi you are going to place it over here which is equals to v out phi ones phi phi three is 15 so what is the value of v out you are going to get the value of v out which will be equals to 12 volts the value of v out which is equals to 12 volts is it not easy to solve the questions Say suppose V out is greater than 14 volts, then virtual short is not valid. That means what the non-inverting potential is not equals to the inverting potential. Very, very important. Third question, let us take some uh, tricky part. We have to determine the output of the operational amplifier and second part they are asking also find the current that is flowing out of operational amplifier. So in order to solve this, I'm going to make use of Ohm's law. The second thing is I'm going to make use of nodal analysis, right? Now look at the things. This current source, the current that is flowing is 0.2 milliampere. Now, what is the current through operational amplifier? Zero amperes. Now, this entire 0.2 milliampere should be flowing through this 4 kilo ohm only. This entire 0.2 kilo ohms should be flowing in this part only. 0.2 milli. Right? Now look at the things. Virtual short is valid. So the non inverting potential, which is uh, minus 3 volts, in the case of inverting potential, also it will be minus 3 volts only very very important very very important now this uh, feedback resistor that is a 4 kilo ohm so this feedback resistor that is a 4 kilo ohm what is the current that is flowing what is the current that is flowing 0 0.2 milli 0 0.2 milli amperes what is the voltage drop across the feedback resistor so that is what current multiplied by a resistor current multiplied by resistor which will be equals to 0.8 volts which will be equals to 0.8 volts we came to know that the feedback voltage is 0.8 volts the current that is flowing from left side to right side nothing but what right side will be at lower potential left side is at a minus 3 volts then automatically the right side potential will be 
minus 3.8 also minus 3.8 also so we came to know that a v out which is equals to minus 3 minus 0.8 which is equals to minus 3.8 volts 3.8 volts so v out which is equals to minus 3.8 volts so the current that is flowing through 3 kilo ohms will be what is the current that is flowing it will be upwards why it is upward means a lower potential is zero v out is at a negative potential so current will be flowing from lower potential to higher uh, sorry higher potential to lower potential so the current that is flowing from higher potential to lower potential what is the current value it is zero minus of minus 3.8 divided by 3 how much you are going to get so this value will be equals to 1.26 milli amperes why milli means the resistor value will be in the order of kilo so it is 1.266 milli amperes right now on the from the top side what is the current that is flowing 0.2 milli amperes 0.2 milli amperes is the current that is flowing downwards right upwards what is the current that is flowing 1.26 milliamperes right so the downward current is a 0.2 milliamperes the upward current is 1.26 milliamperes so this is something like a node or junction so incoming current is in both ways so the resultant part this part is which direction op amp into or the current into the operational amplifier so this is a sum of both the currents that is a 1.46 milliamps so the current that is flowing into operational amplifier is 1.46 milliampere but what they are asking the current flowing out of operational amplifier so the current the current out of the current out of operational amplifier is how much minus 1.46 milliampere why i have indicated with the minus sign is very very important now what i am telling you is the current that is flowing into operational amplifier is 1.46 but what is the question they are asking is what is the current that is flowing out of operational amplifier so the current is a uh, what magnitude wise if i am taking it is a 1.46 milliampere since they are asking with respect to outwards i have appended the negative side negative side indicates what the direction what i have taken is wrong that's it here the current is not flowing out instead the current is getting into operation so this is the third question uh, answer fourth question what they are asking is look at the things in the first question i have talked about the gain in the second question i have slowly introduced i have slowly introduced few other parameters what is the output voltage in the third question what i have done okay what is the current into operational amplifier or current out of operational amplifier in the fourth question what i have done or what i have asked what is the power that is being dissipated across the resistors across the resistor now look at the things this is something like a practical open source one milliamperes is the current that is flowing upwards the current into operational amplifier is a zero the current flowing into operational amplifier is zero. we non-inverting potential is at ground potential similarly what i'm going to get this uh, inverting potential is also at a zero volts only is also at zero volts only now the current that is flowing in this path is 3 volt divided by 3 kilo how much you're going to get 1 milliamperes again here one more milliampere of the current is getting added up so where is the path the path is through rf only the path is through rf resistor only what is the current that is flowing 2 milliamperes current is the one which is flowing now 
the current is flowing from left potential to right potential left potential is at what zero volts a right side should be what a negative value now what is the value of a feedback voltage which is 2 milli multiplied by 5 kilo the feedback voltage is a 10 volts the feedback voltage is 10 volts what is the value of v out what is the value of v out it is uh, this uh, uh, 0 minus vf how much you're going to get minus 10 volts you're going to get minus 10 volts you're going to get so output equals to minus 10 volts are they asking with respect to the output voltage no are they asking with respect to the gain no what they're asking is to find the power dissipation what is the formula for power dissipation it is v square divided by r or i square times of r any of the things is valid now what they are asking power dissipated across this rf resistor so the power dissipated across rf resistor power dissipated across rf resistor which is equals to voltage square i am going to take so it is a v square divided by r this r is what rf what is the voltage what is the voltage left side potential is at zero right side is at minus 10 so zero minus 10 the whole square is what 10 square is what 100 100 divided by what is the value of rf they have given so the value of rf is 5 kilo so the power that is uh, dissipated across this RF resistor is how much? 5 ones, 520. So it is 20 milliwatt is the current that is the power that is being dissipated across this uh, resistor RF. This is not very much simple, right? Next, what is the power that is being dissipated across this RL? What is one more way of finding the current through this RF? i square times of r what is i square so it is a 4 milli square into 5 kilo which is what 4 5 is 20 so it is a 20 milli but both are same only both are same only you can solve in multiple ways power is what voltage multiplied by current v square divided by r or i square times of r now, what is the power that is uh, dissipated across this RL, which is equal to voltage square divided by voltage square divided by resistor that is RL. What is the voltage value? Voltage value is minus 10, but this negative sign will not be considered. Why? The negative square will be positive only. So, it is 100 divided by 10k what is the value you are going to get what is the value you are going to get the power that is being dissipated across this rl is how much you are going to get 10 milliwatt 10 milliwatt very much simple they can ask you what is the current that is being uh, 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 drawn through the operational amplifier or current out of the operational amplifier or they can ask what is the power dissipated across this 3 kilo ohm or they can ask you what is the power this, that is dissipated across this 1 milliampere current source or 3 volts battery. So these are all the uh, like all the things. So for the fourth question, the power that is uh, dissipated across the feedback resistor is 20 milliwatt and uh, the load resistor is a 10 milliwatt you are going to get. So in the fifth question, what they're asking is, what is the power that is dissipated across the R2 resistor? Also, what is the current that is flowing into the operational amplifier and also the current that is flowing into the load resistor that is RL? See, how we have uh, dealing with the problems is, the first thing is, what is the gain of the operational amplifier? What is the output? What is the current into or out of the operational amplifier? Next, we have talked about the power dissipation. Now, in this question, between the output of the operational amplifier and the actual output, we have connected one resistor. 
nothing but output of the operational amplifier is followed by a, a resistor that is R term we have introduced. Now, what is the power that is being uh, dissipated across this uh, resistor R2? So, now look at the things. What is the current uh, through this 2 kilo ohm? It is 0. The current into operational amplifier is 0. This potential is at a minus 2 volts. So, the inverting potential is also at a minus 2 volts. Look at the things. Now, what is the current that is flowing through this 3 kilo ohms? I am going to call it as I1. So, the value of the current that is flowing through I1, left side is at a 3 volts, right side is at a minus 2 volts. So, it is a 3 minus of minus 2. So, it is 3 minus of minus 2. Whole divided by. What is the resistance value? 3k. Now, look at the things. 3 minus of minus 2 will be 5, 5 divided by 3. But the resistance value will be in the kilo ohms. So, the current value will be in the order of milliamperes. So, whatever the answer you are going to get, just up and 1 milli. That's it. What are the resistance value you are going to get? Up and 1 kilo ohms. That, that will be more than enough. Now, this entire current should flow through this RF resistor only. Why? The current into operational amplifier is 0. So, 5 by 3 milliampere. So, what is the what is the voltage? Nothing but feedback resistor voltage. It is a current multiplied by it is current multiplied by a resistance value. 8 5 is 40, 40 divided by 3 volts. So, which comes close to 16.67. Now, we can tell the op amp is getting saturated. I am telling no. Why? The output we are going to get a 16.67, but this output is not the output of the operational amplifier. Meanwhile, in between, you are having one resistor. So, this resistor is going to take some voltage or it is undergoing some dissipation such that the actual output of the operational amplifier will be uh, less than plus or minus 14 volts. Let us try to solve it. The output voltage will be how much? Left side potential is at a minus 2 volts. The voltage drop is how much? Minus 40 by 3. What is the value? Minus 46 divided by 3 volts. So, the output voltage will be minus 46 divided by 3 volts. Why it is like this means look at the things. A left side, the potential is at a minus 2. The current is flowing from left to right. Nothing but what? Automatically or definitely I can tell that the lower potential is on the right side, not on the left side. So, V out value you are going to get a minus 46 divided by 3 volts. Now, the current through this RF resistor will be how much? It is a 5 by 3 milliampere. It is a 5 by 3 milliampere. The current through 4 kilo ohm will be upwards only. Why it is upwards? Bottom potential is a 0. Upper potential is negative. The current will be flowing from always higher potential to lower potential. So, it is what is the value of the current that is IL. So, the value of current IL which is equals to 0 minus of minus 46 divided by 3. Whole divided by. What is the resistance value for? I am not writing kilo. Why? Whatever the answer I am going to get for the current value, I am going to append milli to it. That's it. What is the current value you are going to get? The current value will be 46 divided by 3 into 4. What is the load current? The load current you are going to get 23 divided by 6 milliamperes. The load current will be 26 divided by 3 milliamperes. I have already written the direction of the current that it will be upwards that it will be upwards the load current will be 23 divided by 6 milliamperes 26 divided 23 divided by 6 milliamperes 
now what is the current through what is the current through r2 resistor what is the current through r2 resistor one current is flowing downwards another current is flowing upwards the resultant current will be the cumulative sum of both that is let me call this current as i2 what is the value of i2 current which will be 5 by 3 plus 23 divided by 6 if i am solving with the lcm method i am going to get 33 divided by 6 milli ampere so this is the value of the current that is flowing through r2 resistor i'm going to call it as i2 now there is a voltage drop across this r2 the remaining voltage will be the output of operational amplifier what is the power that is being dissipated across this r2 the power that is being dissipated across r2 which will be v square divided by r v square divided by r or i square times of r what is the voltage value we don't know let us make use of current so the current value will be 33 divided by 6 square we have to make 33 divided by 6 into resistor value i am going to get, get 4 now whatever the answer i am going to get it will be it will be in the order of milliwatt it will be in the order of milliwatt let us try to solve it what i am going to get is 33 into 33 into 4 divided by 36 so roughly i am going to get 121 or roughly i am going to get 121 so this is 121 milliwatt this is 121 milliwatt is the power that is being dissipated across the r2 resistor if they are asking what is the current that is flowing into the operational amplifier is current into op amp how much 33 by 6 milliampere is the current that is flowing into the operational amplifier if they are asking what is the current that is flowing out of operational amplifier it is minus 33 divided by 6 milliampere that's it now what is the current through what is the current through the load resistor the current through the load resistor is how much 23 divided by 6 milliampere that's it so this is how you are going to solve the problems is it not easy moving on to the sixth question what they are given is find the current through resistor r1 also you have to find the current that is flowing into operational amplifier in this we are going to make use of an voltage divider rule see all the questions are something different something unique so what is the potential across this non-inverting terminal voltage divider rule what is the value of in non-inverting potential which is equals to 5 is the total voltage multiplied by 2k divided by 10 plus 2 that is 12k total voltage multiplied by the corresponding resistance divided by the total resistance that's it so you're going to get 5 divided by 6 5 divided by 6 volts which is same as which is same as the non-inverting terminal potential and inverting terminal which is same as inverting terminal potential so this is 5 by 6 volts what is the current through this r1 resistor the current through r1 resistor you are going to get it as how much 5 by 6 divided by 5k i am going to get 1 by 6 milliampere the current through resistor r1 is 1 sixth milliampere the current is flowing from right to left the current has to flow from right to left only this current is how much 1 by 6 milliampere this current is how much 1 by 6 milliampere this current is 1 by 6 milliampere what is the voltage drop across the load resistor value vf vf which is equals to 5 5 kilo multiplied by 1 by 6 milliampere which will be 5 sixth of the volts this is the voltage drop across vf now what is v out see 
there are uh, some 100 coconuts you have taken some 10 coconuts remaining is how much 90 so the total voltage is what the distribution of the voltage drop across 5 kilo ohm and one more is 5 kilo ohm. now this is vf plus uh, 5 by 6 so what is the value of v out <coughs> what is the value of v out it is a vf plus uh, at the inverting terminal it is a 5 6 so it is a 10 by 6 volts you're going to get so the value of a v out which is equals to 10 by 6 volts 10 by 6 volts what is the current through load resistor that is 5k so it is now look at the things the load current which is equals to the total output voltage that is a 10 by 6 divided by the resistance value is 5 kilo which is equals to 1 by 3 of milliampere 1 by 3 of milliampere right so this is the load current that is flowing through the resistor that is 5 kilo one more current is a flowing sorry the current uh, is uh, flowing in the upward direction what is this current it is a one sixth milliampere now one current is flowing upward another current is flowing downward one more current has to supply right so that is the current out of operational amplifier so this is uh, the cumulative sum of i can write it as 2 by 6 milliampere also 10 by 6 divided by 5 which will be 1 by 3 milliampere or I can write it as 2 by 6 milliampere also no problem see 1 sixth of the milliampere is flowing upward 2 six of the milliampere is flowing downwards so the current uh, the current is uh, how much the current uh, that is uh, flowing out of operational amplifier is very very important is how much 3 by 6 is the current 3 by 6 milliampere or half milliampere is the current that is flowing out of operational amplifier out of operational amplifier they are asking what is the current that is flowing into the operational amplifier the current into operational amplifier that is current into will be equals to minus half milliampere minus half milliampere or minus 0.5 milliampere now in the first question we have talked about what is the significance of a resistor and what is the gain value in the second problem we have talked about what is the output voltage in the third problem we have talked about the power dissipation across one resistor we have considered fourth problem what is the power that is uh, being uh, dissipated across multiple resistance and what is the current into or out of operational amplifier in the fifth question we have introduced one resistor term in the fifth question we have introduced one resistor term in the sixth question we have just made use of voltage divider rule we have just made use of voltage divider rule all six questions are very much easy to solve if you are knowing the basics of network analysis thank you for being on my channel please like the video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel training yarn all the best for your competitive exams thank you